All right, guys, welcome back to my living hell. You guys like Inuasha, right? How about Inuasha and, and Inuasha and more Demon Boy? Yeah, so I bought a few things. See, we have quite a few, quite a bit to go through. Um, of course, this is like the big thing. It's a booster box, which oddly enough only has 12 packs, which is kind of low for a booster box, but kind of, you know, it's like, one, I think it's one of the gravity fed ones, like that comes off. That's what it looks like anyways. So I guess we'll dig into this thing first, if I can get it open without destroying it. And then we'll kind of break off here and there to show off the other stupid things that I waste money on. So, is this gravity fed? No, okay, it tears off the top here. Do I want to open it up like that though? Maybe? Yeah. All right, this top part also opens, so not really much of a point in trying to destroy the box itself, like tear it apart. We can just get everything that way. And then we got too many of these boys, so let's go through. Now, I actually had quite a few of these growing up, but I never uh, apparently held on to them. They're all gone. I don't know what happened to all my old Inuasha cards, but I had quite a few growing up. Maybe I sold them. Maybe I don't know. Again, I don't know if there's any kind of like seeding to these. We have, what, do all of these come? Does every pack come with one of these? Like, it's not small. Like, this is an actual, it's like taped shut. Like, instruction manual on how to play. Okay, it's a really thick paper. Does that come with every pack? Anyways, we have Kagome and Koga. Old dude. Okay, first foil. Again, it's not like that easy to see that the writing on that. Kana Naraku's Servant, another foil. Uh, God, it's been so long. This is actually my favorite anime for the longest time as well. We got another foil. So we had two foils after the first card. I believe it was the first card. So do you think that's the way that they're always seated? No, okay, so there were two cards, and then we had the foils. Okay, I gotta say, I really like this one though, Kikio. I remember her name, all right? I can remember some things. So again, we have another construction thing. And let's see if they're always seated the same way. So we have the witch pinned. Okay, no, so there's no foil this time. So it's Hojo. All right, so there's a foil clash of power. So are, uh, maybe they're just randomly, like the rares and stuff are randomly inserted. I also don't know how, how you do tell the rarity. I don't see like a rarity marker that I would really recognize. I'm like, there's the blue thing at the bottom, but I don't really know if, that, if that's of any significance. Um, although there are like jewel shards up here, but I could just see for how the game is played because some of these do have like three jewel shards that has two and I'm getting a lot of like twos. So I'm guessing it doesn't have anything to do with rarity. Shippo, Moroku, my boy. Um, I always pronounce like key, uh, key Lala. I never realized it's a key, uh, key Ra. I, I don't know. And family curse. Yeah, there are like no L's in his name. I thought I thought it was like Key Lala or something like that, but maybe I'm just dumb because I grew up watching the show and I was a dumb kid. Come on, focus. Uh, deadly demon. I actually don't recognize that demon. Old man again. Jaken. Uh, girl talk. What a what a great foil card to get. There we go. Kilala, Kirara, whatever the hell you want to call it. Muso, White Wolf. Another Kikyo, this time not foil. Miso Soup. Some of these cards are a little dinged up. I don't know how well it's really showing there. Like, the corner is kind of bent down. It's not bad. It might just be because, you know, the fact they've been in storage for, like, 20 years now. These are old cards, man. All right, let's do something a little bit different. I bought one of these as I wanted something to put, like, the more rare cards and stuff like that in that I'm going to be getting because I actually plan on buying more of them. Um, it does come with a pack as well, actually from a different set, so that's kind of neat. Here's the thing, I didn't order the Moroku tin. <laughs> I actually ordered the Songo one because it was like the cheapest one, and I actually wanted Moroku, but I didn't really see that one listed or it was too expensive, I don't remember what the reason was. It's been a while since I ordered it, it took forever to ship, and it's the, it's what, this is what I've been waiting for to do this video. This took forever. But they shipped the wrong one, and it's the one that I actually wanted, so I don't mind. <laughs> Now this is actually sealed by the way, but the seal's like taking some damage. There's a chance it could have been opened at one point in time. Um, and I wouldn't have noticed just because of how bad that seal was. But this tin is actually in pretty good condition. Oh, and there's actually a foil card in there. I'll show that here in a second. Um, yeah, tin's not bad. Has artwork on the bottom. 
Um, neat. Nothing like super special. But I didn't realize that. They actually come with a foil card. If I would have known that... Oh, it actually has some dirt or something on it. If it'll focus. Like, there's some dirt or something down here. I'll have to try and clean that off. That is really reflective. You guys can see my camera and my face behind Moroku. Yeah, I need to figure out how to clean off that dirt. But if I would have known it came with a foil card, I would have ordered this one anyways. Because I Moroku's like one of my favorite characters, man. And of course, it came with a pack. With the way that this got folded down like that, I expect these cards to be a little bit more beat up than what we're used to. But these are from a different set. However, they still include the instructions. However, this time they're in green instead of red. Neat. Okay, we actually have a sideways card. Cave of the Priestess. We have the Monkey God. These actually aren't beat up. The corners are a little bad, but with the issue with the Naruto cards, with the Inuyasha cards, is that the corners always kind of did that. Um, so worried about you, Hatomi. Don't catch a cold. Village Woman. We're getting all like pretty boring cards in this one. Um... Okay, there's another one of the fox thing. Uh, I can't remember. I, I know that they're related. I don't remember how. What was that? Wasn't that just like a spinoff? Um, cool. All right. Well, we didn't get any foils or anything out of it, but you know, it was at least we have the tin we can use now. Let's continue. Next pack. I kind of hate that the the foils and rares and stuff do seem to just be randomly in the packs because like. It'd be cool to like be able to save them for last and not accidentally see them whenever I'm trying to get the cards together. All right, another character I don't recognize because that show had a lot of characters. Uh, Soda Coward. There's our foil. Um, that's a spawn of Naraku. Imps three. Does that mean that there are three imps, or is it just the third imps card? Okay. Oh, we actually got Naraku. There we go. Uh, wolf, demon, wink. Some of these are just like the smallest things they're making like into cards. She She's winking. So Shamaru's demon again. We're getting a lot of different demons of his. A lot of the demons were his. Uh, then, then that's uh, one of Koga's people who you never really learn much about them, really. Like he doesn't even have a name. Was it one of Koga's people or was it just like... People who looked, acted, and dressed just like Koga's men, but were not Koga's men, because that show had a lot of crap going on. Okay, anyways, I think I just saw the foil again. I think it's like a guarantee. The Leader of Bats! I'm not going to try and pronounce all the Japanese names. Again, I haven't seen the show in a while. Okay, well, I've watched parts, but not, you know, all the way through. I will curse... I will cause your demise. There's the Raccoon Boy. Okay, we actually have Foil Graveyard. This card is super dark. Obviously, it's a graveyard, and the foil makes it almost impossible, not just on camera for you guys. It gets really hard to see, like, even in person, the artwork for the graveyard. Not the coolest foil, I gotta say. There we go, Kagura. I actually don't mind having that one. I like how a lot of these foils have, like, the Japanese, you know, like, lettering down the side. I'm guessing it's just the same name there. Uh, and you'll also destructive path. Bat Demon Tribe Member 4. <laughs> Jesus Christ, I'm reading the credits. Ayame Koga's Bride to Be. Uh, the Shikan Jewel. And neat. Open. Jesus, that one is sealed. There we go. I'm gonna have to start like cutting these open, I think, because like some of these are not wanting to come apart. Alright, focus camera. That card is backwards. Why is that card backwards? Quality control. Who the hell makes these cards? Viz Media has their logo on it, and then Score Entertainment. I don't know who's supposed to make these. Anyways, goofing around. Muso Soul of Something. Oops, I just skipped a card. Nightmares About Homework. Alright, well. Scissors. Okay. I suppose that counts as a foil. Can any card be foil if we're getting a scissors card? Ugh. Uh, Shikigami 2. Uh, man, I don't remember these cards as being as dry as they were. Like, yeah, I, I had quite a few growing up, but I don't remember these cards being, like, some of them are neat. Like, the character cards and stuff I really like. But getting a foil of scissors, specifically from rock, paper, scissors? Okay. Focus. Come on, my camera's so slow. Uh, we got the old witch. We got another sideways card in Raku's Lair. I guess all locations are sideways cards like that. They only seem to be locations. Uh, evil mage with a big old belly boy. Um, we got Naraku, but it says menacing evil, so... Not quite Naraku. We got crows, too. I see a lot more than two crows in that image. 
Shikigami Demon Serpent. Uh, a cat. Good to know that we still have furries around back then. Uh, Sage, Ink, Demon, and the, the boy. All right, we got five packs left to go. Let's go ahead and do this. We're going to fly through these very quickly because all it is is two pre-made decks. Uh, I'm not really collecting this to actually play the game. This just happened to be a good deal, and it was actually the first Inuasha thing that I bought. And then I was like, hey, why don't I just make a video and do all Inuasha cards, which is just like almost entirely for nostalgia purposes and not really any other reason. So please, no, I was hoping they would have like some kind of case on them, you know, some way to store them other than in here. Because if you wanted to keep the decks separate, you're kind of screwed. Because if you put them in there like that, you know, out of this wrapping, they're just going to slide around in here. There's no no way to keep them separated. We have another instruction manual. At least this one has like artwork on it. And of course, we have two pre-made decks. Which, you know, I know most people don't care for pre-made decks, but it was something cheap and a way for me to like relive a little bit of nostalgia. All right. So we have... Inuasha, Kagome. Okay, we're actually already getting cards I like more. That's usually how these pre-built pre decks work, as they look, you know, the, the best cards are on the front. Kikyo, uh, Fox Dude, the other Fox Dude, Kaede, Inuasha, Moroku, my boy. There's Songo. So yeah, the tin was originally supposed to be a Songo tin, but I'm happy we got Moroku. There's another Kagome on guard. Kaede, Songo. Man, we're getting... I mean, of course, it's going to be repeats, but like they kind of like put them together. Um, there's Shoshomaru. Like I said, we're just going to be kind of going through these ones pretty quick. So if you're if you're that interested in them, my my apologies. There's another song. Go hold on. Blades of Blood. I actually remember I played a Inuyasha game for the PlayStation Two when I was a kid, and this attack was basically just like the default for me. I would just that's the attack I'd always stand with him. Uh, Kikyo, Kaede... Man, were the, were the, was the actual TCG supposed to have that many repeats of each card? Is it like the, the fourth ship we've seen? Maybe it's only the third. Another Inuasha, another Blades of Blood, another Overpowered, another Kagome, another Songo, another Inuasha, another Raccoon Boy, another Kaede, another On Guard, another Kagome, another Songo, another Kikyo, another Moroku, another Blades of Blood, another Hold On, the first shard, I think it's the first one of the first shard, and a second one of the first shard, which doesn't make any sense! Yeah, I remember even as a kid, like, whenever I would, like, look at these Inuasha cards and stuff, like, yeah, I like the backing, they are really neat, they don't really, like, tell you as an American that this is Inuasha. But I remember even thinking as a kid that these cards were kind of cheap. Like, they beat up a lot easier than, like, Yu-Gi-Oh! and Pokemon, which are two of the things I was really into at the time. But, like, the corners, they made them so pointy that they would always get beat up really easy. They weren't rounded out that well. And, like, these cards just never felt super amazing. And now I'm really starting to remember why I probably didn't want to hold on to these as a kid. When I could possibly sell them to somebody who wants them or trade them in order to get Pokemon or Yu-Gi-Oh cards, which is what I was into at the time. Alright, let's do the other deck and then we can move on. And then we do have one other special thing to do as well. We're going to get a lot more repeats. So, two stuffed demons defeated tag team. This is Shomaru Weasel Demon. Okay, I actually kind of like that. Naraku Nemesis, we got Jaken, Shashamaru's Demon, Jaken, um, the name is right there, but I don't know how to pronounce it, I don't remember the character that well, um, I do remember that fat dude, Valuables, Weasel Demon, Inuasha, Destruction, Naraku, Demons, see now we're back to just giving us the same card over and over, with maybe like one or two variations here, here and there. Were the decks really meant to have you using that many repeated cards, or was it just like an easy way for them to build a pre-made pre deck by just repeating the same thing over and over? Like throw like one or two rares in there and this, the rest of them just all commons. Again, I don't know how to check the rarity on these things. Also, I realize the, the shard icon is actually at the bottom of the card on these and not at the top. So I'm guessing this is from a different set. Um, but yeah, nothing like special at the back. The other one had the shards at the back that were unique to all of the repeats, but not on this one, apparently. All right, let's do some more packs. And then we do have one other special thing. It's not super special, but, you know, it makes me happy. All right, so there's that. And 
We got another demon boy. So many demons, I guess that's kind of the point. We will protect you, and we have another foil location, Kagami's Junior High. Cursed Noah Mask, Evil Demon. I am not crying. Imps 2, yet again. Shippo, Little Demon Fox, who I always thought was a girl growing up. Uh, Nazuma, and oh wait. Alright, more instruction cards, my favorite. Do they really have to put one in every pack? Alright, Koga, we got a policeman, hell yeah, my favorite card. Righteous Strike, we have a foil sigh. Again, we're getting this the weirdest foil card. It's not like Kagome foil, it's sigh. Like, you have the picture of her sighing. Um, another Toad Demon, um, Samurai Warrior. Like, some of these are just, like, kind of obscure to me. Then, of course, you have another Kikyo. Alright, we got three left, including this one. So, Magikarp, come on, get us some good foils. I don't really know what's rare. You don't gotta give us rare stuff. I just want some good foils, you know? Like, actual character cards. Okay, focus. Come on. There we go. Uh, future Villain. Famished. Uh, the Flea. Baggage. Woo. Again, we have a character on it, but it's baggage. I guess she kind of counts as baggage. Miso Soup. Thing. Imps 3! We got Imps 3. Good, we can get all the Imps. Naraku. Wolf, Demon, and Wink. After this, we'll do the other little thing, which if you paid attention in the intro, you might have already noticed what it was. Another instruction thing. Focus. We have Shippo Battle Ready. Jaken Iron Work Hammer. Followers. Again, like, it's a cool looking card, and I don't mind it at all, but when you call it followers instead of just like, you know, Shomaru, it makes it a little bit less special, I suppose. Birds of Paradise 2, Attack of the Spirit Puppets, Kaede, uh, dude whose name I'm not going to try and pronounce, but they, they put so many long titles on these cards. Uh, Injured in Yubasha, and the Soul Piper. I actually remember that character. That, that, that demon. Okay, we are down to one pack, but we're going to save it, and we're going to show you this little thing. Uh, it is used, this isn't a sealed copy, as much as I wish it was. It is just a movie, but there's a reason I bought this, aside from the fact that I got it for, like, $3. Um, yeah, the special features and all that, it's the fourth movie. But you might notice here, it actually comes with an exclusive card and a cell phone charm. Remember, guys, this is, like, 2004 when this released, so flip phones and stuff are still a thing, and people liked having these charms to hang off their phones. They're not really a thing you do anymore. I don't have the charm, this didn't come with the charm, but it did come with the card. If my camera will focus. It's not anything like special, again, it's you are defeated, and instead of just being like a character card, which I prefer a lot more. Again, I don't play the game, so playing the game, I guess you would kind of like these cards more, but as someone who just, you know, wants to collect, it's not as special as you think it might be, but it's neat. I'm probably going to sleeve it and then put it back in the movie case so I can kind of keep things together. And then we have literally just a single piece of paper. There's like not like a pages or anything to it. And there's like the chapters. Like if you're trying to like skip to the chapters in the movie, there's a list, I, I, I guess. It's not like an episode list. It's okay. Um, and then an advertisement, this is going to be advertising, it's like, yeah, there's box sets, and then here's, like, manga and anime you've never heard of. Oh, speaking of flip phones, here we go. Isn't that, like, an old ad? Live the real advent, live the real adventure on your mobile phone. Yeah, I'm sure that game ho holds up real well to the test of time. Um, okay, this is actually like a four-page thing, and it's kind of neat, I suppose. And then upside down to back. We're, we're just going to flip it upside down because I'm lazy. Oh, and yes, for buying it used, it's in pretty good condition. Oh, look, it's me again. Hi. Um, there's a lot of dust on it, but no scratches or anything, so whatever. All right, now that we got done doing a thing you guys don't care about, let's do the last pack. Which, man, these just do not open up well at all. Okay, here's our instructions. Focus. And, come on, focus! Uh, Kohaku, Sangha's little brother, archery training. Um, my camera just stopped recording. I saw it, so I know nothing was lost aside from me taking this card and putting it down. Anyways, uh, scared of not talking. 
Um, which, I, again, it's a foil. I should be excited, but it's just whatever. Uh, Slayer Weapons, Imps 1. We have Imps 1, 2, and 3. We have all the Imp Boys. All right. Tender Moments, Naraku's Insects 4. Now we have to get all his insects. Uh, Goosebumps. Uh, Aun, Follower of Susamaru. I don't. It's a horse. And Deflection. That's all the cards. Again, like, we got a couple interesting things from this, but, like, Again, the foils that we got, I don't think were necessarily that great. I think the best one we got would probably have to be this Kikio here. Like, I was kind of excited when I first drew it, but now that I know that, you know, foil character cards aren't all that common, I mean, there is actually another foil character card, but this is like a full art, you know what I mean? So, I, I, this is definitely, I think, the best thing that we pulled, which actually, I think, was the first pack, so sweet. All right, guys, if you enjoyed, uh, like the video, and I'll consider sending you one of these play manuals. <laughs> I'm, not gonna, I'm just going to throw these away more than likely. Uh, if you enjoyed, feel free to give the video a like, subscribe, all that kind of stuff. We have more things coming and possibly more in you also stuff, maybe. I don't know why I did that. That's symbolizing size, not chances. Uh, bye.